Uncle Robert. Where have you been? I've been trying to get a hold of you all day. Oh. Sorry, mate. I didn't mean to worry you. Well, we can't find Anna. Called her home, no answer. Philomena's no help. We don't know where she is. I'm not surprised. And then you dismiss Sam from guarding Robin. What's going on? I dismissed Sam because I thought Anna was going to be home. Well, she didn't go home. Yeah, I know. I got worried, so I moved uh, Robin to a safe place. Oh, uh, I better go talk to Robin. Maybe she can tell us something. But what? If there's any questioning of my daughter to be done, I'm the one that's going to do it. <sighs> I'm sorry, sure, Robin, of course. You know, I'm trying to keep on top of everything. I kind of forget the nice of these. I'm sorry. We all slip up once in a while. Well, tell me, what did Robin say? Does she know where Anna is? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Well, where? She's gone off with Duke. Duke? Anna told Robin that? Unfortunately. Well, that cinches it. Anna is an accessory to Duke Lavery's escape. The case against her is becoming overwhelming. I never thought I'd see the day when a cop like Anna turns bad. Happens sometimes. Yes, but excuse me. Ramsey here, what is it? Phone call for Commissioner Scorpio, Chief. It's Mrs. Scorpio, not Commissioner. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Here. Uh, Mr. Scorpio here. Mr. Jones here. What is it? What's with the formality? Never mind. I'll, uh, explain it to you later. Oh, fine. We gotta talk. I got some bad news about Duke. I tried to think of as many places to meet as I could, but it's as good as I could do. This is fine. So what's up with Ramsey? Huh? Did he buy it? Totally. What about the bracelet? Bert swallows any piece of information that comes his way. He's managed to work out that Annie used her key to open the band cage and uh, dropped her bracelet in the process. Well, anything to take off the heat of himself. Oh, he's adding his own little touches, too. Like what? He's come up with a bit that, uh... He hired those two crooked cops on Anna's recommendation. No kidding. Mm, got to give him his due. He's using every little opening to advantage. Mark of a true crook, huh? What he doesn't realize is he's painting himself into a corner in the process. What about Robin? Is she still a chance? Yeah, she'll be safe there. Now, it's up to us to keep on building Ramsey's suspicion of Anna. What does he think your part is in this? Oh, I'm suddenly his best friend. He calls me buddy these days. Well, good. That's all the better for us. Mm. All right. What's new on your end? I bugged a conversation at Duke's club down in the storage room. Uh -huh. They called ship to shore. Uh. Our shore, Port Charles. The ship is called Sister Island. No wonder we could never find a place. It's a boat. That's right. Now, Damon talked to somebody on the boat who said that Henderson and Bellows were there. Now, from what I heard, I think there's going to be more of these hoods coming to Port Charles. First they launder money, now they're laundering expatriate crims. Whoever is on the boat told Damon that nobody's coming to shore till Duke's dead. No wonder Ramsey's sweating buckets. They're putting pressure on him to clear the books. You know, Duke was right when he said they were going to kill him after they arranged his escape. So what about Anna? If she's well, with Duke, she's in danger. Yeah, no, nah, I'm working on a plan. I want to run a bye before I join the boat. What do you got in mind? First, you're to contact Sean. You get him to find out everything he can about this, uh, this boat, Sister Island. Owners, ports of origin, stuff like that. Right, right, right. Then I want you to keep an eye on the, uh, the mansion. Keep a lookout for any work being done there. All right. What's all this leading to, Robert? A lot of this is going to depend on you. Now, when Damon realizes that poor Charles is safe, he's going to bring in the hoods. And he's what we're going to do. Hey, you, what are you doing? Frisco, what are you doing out there? Yes, they should warm you up. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Well, I couldn't let you, you know. freeze out there. <clears throat> well, I appreciate this. It's very uncalled for. Thank you. 
Now, drink the tea whilst it's hot, dear. It'll oh. uh, take the chill off. I'm curious, Frisco. What were you doing out on the terrace with binoculars? Uh, uh, working, actually. It's a little hard for me to believe. Oh, now, Alan, don't call the boy a liar. No, no, no. He has a right to be suspicious. I'm doing a little private detective work, Alan. Not for Chuck Morrison. No. No, actually, it's an out-of-town agency. They want me to keep an eye on your new neighbor. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. What's he done? You know, I don't know. It's his ex-wife that's the client, and she's suspicious that this guy's cheated her out of a fortune in their divorce settlement. That sounds like such a fascinating job. I'd like to talk to this guy. You know, maybe he can give me some pointers on how he outwitted his wife in this divorce settlement. Oh, Alan. Just joking, Mother. Well, you can give it a try if you want, but this agency told me that this guy is <clears throat> not the friendliest of sorts, sort of like his... So... <sighs> Sort of like the dogs, I had to run a... That's him! Oh, my dear. <coughs> you, you better get yourself back into yeah. bed. Yeah, that's a good idea. I better get going. Thank you again for everything you've done for me here. Oh, I'll show you what. No, no, no. I, I, I know the way. Thank you, Alan. Sorry. Bye-bye, Frisco. Sorry to trust you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, such a nice boy. It's too bad he's not still on the police force where he belongs. And then he could be taking care of all of us. Yes, I'm sure that's what he would like to do. I'm sure that's what he dreams about. It'd be nice if all of our dreams...